Hi everyone. Today's story is about a boy born in Italy. When this particular boy was born in Pisa, Italy, in February 1564, to a very poor family running a dry goods store, nobody had thought that he would be such a great scientist. Young Galileo's mother always complained, "I'm sick and tired. When will we will get out of this poverty?" Her anger often fell on Galileo, who liked doing different experiments. But his father was always kind and friendly to him. He taught him French and Greek, and also to play a flute. Galileo's father requested. a monastery to allow his son to stay and study there you should be a great man without fail he said galileo was very happy to study there but in particular his eyes shone brighter when he heard about a mathematician who was a famous scholar called aristotle galileo's father and mother even quarreled about his going to college but his father who wanted galileo to be a doctor provided him with sufficient money to go to school even in this situation galileo entered the medical school at the university of pisa but he wasn't interested in medical science he was more interested in maths and physics and so he eventually gave up his medical degree He continued to study what he liked and even did private tuitions to support his education. Galileo did not just stay with the theories from books, but he also performed experiments in connection with everything he always read. He was a very good in all these subjects he liked. he became better and galileo himself became a professor academically sometimes he clashed with senior professors when he disagreed with them he was hated by many people in the university because he criticized the teachings of the greek philosopher aristotle whose ideas were many times just accepted without any questions aristotle was a scholar 2000 years ago and not all his theories are true i will prove it galileo said galileo also performed an experiment which is a very famous experiment of galileo in the leaning tower of pisa in order to prove the incorrectness of the of aristotle's theory which goes as a heavier object falls faster than a lighter one he could prove this theory wrong with his experiment that both the objects hit the ground at the same time but still no one thought highly of him so galileo moved to the university of padova for free academic study and his future research He was very popular there. The classrooms he used to teach were filled with students and other professors too. In those times, a Polish astronomer called Nicholas Copernicus argued that the Earth moves around the Sun. Yes, really. Due to Aristotle, people did, till then seriously thought. that the sun moved around the earth his argument brought tremendous problem to many believers and of course everyone thought the copernicus's argument was wrong this was because he could not prove his theory with proper observations galileo however agreed with it without making any haste Galileo made his own telescope based on the design which he had recently which was recently invented in Holland. He became the first person to study and observe many of the details and 
of close by universe using his tiny telescope. He is best known in the world for these observations, which goes as, for example, that the moon has a rough surface and has many mountains and craters. That the Jupiter had moons going around it. That the sun sometimes has dark spots on them. Of course, these also helped him to help prove the correctness of Copernicus's arguments. Although he and a few others were convinced to this belief that earth revolves around the sun, many religious people and scholars criticized him. At last, at the age of 69, Galileo had to face an inquisition, a court which might torture him or give, give him a death sentence for not being religious. Do you think the earth revolves around the sun? They questioned him. Brave Galileo must have shed tears when he gave this answer which they wanted. My arguments are false and yet it moves, he murmured. Galileo had to lie for his life. He was ordered to live in his house forever from them. But he used this chance to write one book, his best books, fulfilling his 40 years of work. Till his last breath, Galileo was a person who loved to learn even from simple experiments that none of them in that time would have even imagined. And so now he is known as the father of modern physics. So friends, did you understand the importance of experimenting whatever you learn? So now we are coming to the toys today. Today's toy is going to need very simple material. We are using a stone or you can even use heavy marble or a heavy ball of steel or anything heavy that you have in your house and a very light object almost similar to its size. This is a stone but it's very heavy and this is a ball of wool which is very light. You can use thread or a cotton ball or even a pillow which is very light and do this experiment from a little high. Now let's go and do the experiment. Are you wondering why I am standing on this chair? Okay, so because I want to drop these objects from a little bit height from the ground. So what we are going to do is, as I told you before, take a heavy object and a light one. Almost of the same size. Now I am going to drop this from here and we are going to see how and what they are going to do while they are traveling to the ground. Ready? Start! See, the wool and the stone were falling at the same time. So, the gravity does not differentiate between a lighter and a heavier object. They fall at the same rate of acceleration. But now, will this happen with a balloon that's more lighter than a wool and a stone? Let's see. As you saw, the balloon kept hanging in hair. Why did this happen? Why did not the balloon and the stone fall at the same time? This was because there is air and air resistance in between. The balloon is so light, it has air inside that it floats on air. See, it will fall down eventually but not as fast as the stone. So many people did this experiment in vacuum. So now vacuum doesn't have air. What will happen in vacuum? Yes, you are right. They will fall. Even the balloon and the stone will fall at the same time on the ground. 
You can check many videos on YouTube. They have also made a video with a feather and a basketball falling at the same time in vacuum. Search the video and see. And if you like our video and story, please like, share and subscribe Ayuka Psycho. Bye.